we are right now No longer 17 oh. And we've been around Got some years on us And a new barrel to see yeah. So we're here that are still Up here inside your dream land With that are still Up here inside your sleep band Hello you guys, welcome to another Cozy Diaries. In last week's video, you guys may have seen my jeans declutter. For this week, we are going to be decluttering all of my tops. So I actually store all of my tops in the first drawer behind me. They are basically filled to the brim with just t-shirts, tank tops, tops that you are able to fold and put it in a drawer, they are all in here. My blouses and flannels and things that are a little bit more bulkier and needs to retain shape, those items are hung up in the closet in our bedroom, but we are going to be specifically decluttering the drawers because it's been so long since I have decluttered stuff from there. However, to preface this video, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of shirts because most of them are basics. Another thing with tops that I usually do is get rid of things out of my closet on a case-to-case -case basis. So I usually do it regularly when I wear a top and I'm like, oh, I feel like I just like don't look good in this anymore or it doesn't fit right or I'm just not thrilled about wearing it anymore that I will go ahead and donate it or send it to thread up posh market whatever i need to do i definitely don't remember everything that is in here so that's the plan today i'm gonna go through every single one of my tops that i own and at least that will help me kind of realize what i have in my closet and wear it more if i do still love it i also feel like i have a lot of similar items in my closet so we will be figuring out which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to declutter. This is the drawer that I have right here. Let's go ahead and dump this all on my bed. Okay, hopefully this angle is okay and the lighting is not too backlit, but this is my bed. I made it this morning to film this video. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of my white tops first. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so those are all of my white tops. Let's go ahead and reevaluate. I'm gonna do this for all the other colors and I will show you the pile that I'm gonna resell slash donate and the other pile for my keep clothes. <laughs> all right, you guys, it is all done. I am so happy with how it turned out. I did declutter quite a bit. I'm actually pretty surprised at the amount of tops that I am getting out of my closet. Let me go ahead and show you guys the transformation of my drawer. It looks really pretty right now because it is color coordinated. I feel like I'm the home edit. I feel like I should be on their team now. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. I have my whites, my pink nudes, my blacks. As you can tell, I wear a lot of black, so it is taking up a third of the drawer. And then I have grays here, and then my olives, yellows, burnt oranges, and then a red. So it looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. Everything has some breathing room now. Like, as you can see, I can still kind of like shift things around. There is like a lot of breathing space which I'm really happy about because before it was packed to the point where you couldn't move anything around. So I'm happy with the transformation. Okay, it doesn't look like much, but this is a good amount for me. <laughs> I have all of these tops here that I am going to resell and donate. Oh, 
Okay, I really don't know if the lighting situation right now is okay or not because I do have really bright studio lights on me and I look really shiny in the viewfinder. So I hope it doesn't translate so much when I post produce it, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys what I got from Costco. Super random. I ordered two things off of Costco's website. I really wanted to show them to you guys before I wash up and head to bed because it is now I believe 11 30 p.m. Charlie is still working like a crazy person so I've been just working as well so I was watching Taylor Wynn's video I love Taylor Wynn I think I talk about her almost in every single vlog of mine because I watch so many of her videos and she just recommends the best things I got this because of her she recommended it in one of her videos and I fell in love with it they are these robes I got the Carol Hotchman textured plush wrap robe oh my god that's a mouthful but she really raved about this robe because she said that it fits her really well. She is also a very petite person. So she was talking about how the sleeves on this robe fits her perfectly. They come in two different colors and I got both of them. I got a gray and a purple because purple is one of my favorite colors. So I was like, okay, I have to get it. I also have a white robe, which you guys really liked when I was wearing it in my last Cozy Diaries. but. Look how cute. It's just a very soft, fluffy bathrobe. And I've been really loving bathrobes lately to just wear around the house after a shower or a bath. Actually, I never take baths. Let's be real. But in theory, this would be really cute post bath, you know? I got it in an extra small. Okay, I need scissors. I'll be right back. I really love my white one, but I've had that one for a really long time and I thought it would be nice to kind of switch up the robes that I wear. I love this color and it's super, super soft. It's not as thick as I thought it was going to be, but these were $16, you guys. Super cheap for a nice robe. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me try it on so you guys can see it. Wow, I like it. Okay, so this is <laughs> what the robe looks like. I think this is super cute. However, there are some threads that are like already kind of like dangling off on the fabric. So I'm just gonna have to snip those off. But for 16 bucks, it's not bad. Oh, they also have pockets, which is really nice. Ooh, it's so soft. Okay, so that is the gray one, and I also got it in purple. Now I have fuzzies all over me, oh my gosh. This is the lilac purple one. I think this one is really cute too. It's not that like really bright neon purple because I don't really like that type of purple. This is kind of more of my style. It's 100% polyester, super soft. I really like it, so you guys will now see me in these bathrobes a lot more in my vlogs. <laughs> oh my god, this one is so cute too. Look at this color. I also think it's really funny that these types of robes used to be free. Do you guys remember at Ulta, they used to give away robes for free with like a purchase of a perfume or if you shopped over a certain amount, they would give you a free robe. I actually have a robe from Ulta. The white one that you guys saw in last week's Cozy Diaries, that one is from Ulta. I got that for free, I think a couple years back, but now they don't do it anymore because I think robes are just getting, I don't know, in demand and really popular. So brands don't want to 
give them away for free anymore, which is unfortunate. But now I have all the robes I need for the rest of my life. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and then start using them. So I'm really excited. Now I'm gonna wash up because my face looking like a greasy mess and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. I almost said Sunday. It is Saturday and Charlie and I are gonna go head to the mall to the tailor because I dropped off some stuff that I needed to get hemmed last week. So it is ready for pickup. I think we are gonna try to get some pictures outside because it is gorgeous and I'm running out of Instagram posts. <laughs> I loved my outfit today. It is very trendy. It's really not that creative. It's just layering a turtleneck underneath a graphic tee and that's what I'm going for today. I've seen these types of outfits on Pinterest a lot and I just wanted to try it out for myself, see if I like it. It gives me like ski vibes. Charlie also mentioned that as well. He was like, you look like you're about to go skiing, <laughs> but I kind of like it. I just layered under my white turtleneck really thin ribbed shirt from Abercrombie and this graphic tee is actually from a concert that I went to with Charlie a few years ago? Those don't even exist anymore, I'm pretty sure. So I just put this on top as like my graphic tee and I am wearing... Let me show you guys the full outfit. I have my Zara mom fit jeans as my bottom. As you can see, I love the fit of these jeans. They are a little distressed on the knees. And because it is actually super cold outside today, it's around 30 degrees Fahrenheit, I wanted to layer up and underneath these jeans, I was able to squeeze in a pair of fleece lined leggings, which is a really great tip and trick for you guys who live in the colder areas of the world. Definitely wear fleece lined leggings or tights underneath your jeans if you want to still have that denim look. And that's what I did because it is a little bit colder. These Moffitt jeans are definitely the best jeans to do that with because they have a little bit of room and give. They're not like skin tight, they're mom fit jeans, so they're a little bit looser on me, which is perfect to layer tights under. I have this belt by and other stories. I absolutely love this belt so much. It has a gold buckle and a croc leather detail as the belt itself. I think for my shoes, I'm going to be wearing my gray Converse high tops. I haven't worn those shoes in ages. And I thought it would be perfect for this fit. It has that kind of skater street vibe. And that's basically what I'm going for. So because this is so like masculine heavy, especially with the more Converse streetwear shoes, I'm going to actually wear a long coat which is a little bit more feminine to balance things out. So I have this belted coat from Abercrombie that I'm probably gonna wear. This is very warm as well because it is a wool coat. Straight away, it just makes the outfit a little bit more, I don't know, more well-balanced in my opinion. So I have these little belts if I need to belt it. That is what the coat looks like. That's my outfit of the day. Ooh, I'm like sweating because I have so many layers on. I feel like you'll like it. Isn't it? It's pretty spicy. I like it. I have to try mine. Yeah, try yours. The wine spit. <laughs> swirl. Swirl. The wine. swirl. The swirl. Look swirl. Look at the wine under the color. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Are you self-conscious right now? I feel like you would like that one a lot better than this one. Really? This is the GSM, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Which one is this one? Uh, this one's the Petite Syrah. Oh, yours is so dry. Yep. And it's, uh, yours is like, it has that olive aftertaste, the thing that I don't like. <laughs> that's why, that's, that's, what, that's why I said. I like, I like this one better. You like that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, much better. It tastes a lot better after you drink, like, the other one, right? Yeah. guys we just got back from old town alexandria rompers trying to eat my mug you want to say hi come here oh. <laughs> he's so complacent say hi as I was saying, Charlie and I got back from Old Town Alexandria. I love going there just because they have so many cute little stores and I just love like the city vibes. We had a glass of wine and we had some appetizers so you guys already saw that clip. But I thought that I would show you guys what I brought home today. Um, it's not another dog. <laughs> Romper would like that though. Oi! Hello. Hi. Say, oh, okay, okay, goodbye. We went to Paper Source because I had to return some Everlane things that I hauled for you guys last week. Paper Source is one of the odd locations that have happy returns that Everlane uses to process all of their returns. They had like a promotion going on. If you return something through happy returns, you get like a $10 voucher for like anything in the store and there's no minimum spend or anything like that. So of course went for the mug that I fell in love with cause at this point I feel like mugs are like stray animals to me. Like I just want to take them home. This one was so cute. I will show you what it looks like. It is a beautiful gold handle mug with like these like swirl design on the inside and then on the outside there's a bunch of these like blue leaves and i just thought this was such a cute mug to add to my mug collection <laughs> i don't know i feel like just having different mugs for different beverages really make me happy for some reason so i just really wanted to have this in my life i just popped some laundry into the washer and just doing some chores here and there around the house. I think that's all there is to it for tonight. And hopefully tomorrow I'll have more to show you guys. But that is it for today. Turn off your alarm clock. We won't need in the morning. We won't wake up. Just hold off all your problems. We don't oh need them now. Time to take a mm, tea go light, go get it. Go get it. If you feel like you wanna go home, just Hey guys, it is now Sunday evening. This morning, Charlie and I just hung out with family, and when we got back home, I was so tired because. I slept really late last night and then woke up really early today. So I took a nap again. We had dinner and then now I am going to edit this video so it can go up tomorrow, which is Monday for you guys. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you guys, I have been experiencing like the worst like blister or cold sore on the inside of my lip. So it is so painful to talk. So painful and I also got like a blood blister. I'm not sure if anyone knows what that is, but it It's exactly what it sounds like <laughs> Literally, it's like in the inside roof of my mouth and it's like a little blister that has 
basically blood in it and that happens for a multitude of reasons it can be just trauma to that area maybe i was like eating a chip or something and it punctured it or <laughs> wounded it and that's why it formed but i mean i've been just experiencing so much like mouth pain <sighs> It is the worst. I have never gotten my wisdom teeth taken out by the way because I've gotten x-rays taken and my dentist told me that I don't have wisdom teeth on the bottom, I think. Yeah, I don't have any bottom wisdom teeth. Like I just never had them. I was born without them, I, I guess. And on the top, I do have them, but they are so like impacted that most likely I won't have to get them out ever. So. Knock on wood that that stays true. Uh, I've never had my wisdom teeth taken out or had any oral surgeries. So I'm like very lucky in that sense, but I can't even imagine the type of pain that would be if a cold sore is giving me this much pain. Like, <laughs> and I have a pretty good threshold for pain, I feel like, except for when it's like in my gums or like my teeth. I just can't handle it. I mean, I have tattoos for crying out loud. Like I can endure pain. It's just for some reason, like when anything is like dental related, it's just like way worse. Anyway, I'm like ranting on talking about something super random, but that's why I might be talking a little bit funny. If you guys can tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna edit my video so it'll go up for you guys tomorrow. And that's basically what my night is going to be. It's a Sunday and it'll be really fun and nice to kind of wind down and just hang out with Charlie while playing a game on the Switch. <laughs> well, I will talk to you guys again soon and I hope you guys are doing well. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye. Turns to twilight If you feel like